CEDO stands for the Center of Excellence in Teaching and Learning. Fame, academic advising, and the community service, service learning are all under the umbrella of CEDO. And in the FAME program, we generally hire um, students who are performing very well in various academic areas to help tutor uh, their peers. In that program, any student can take advantage of the services. So it doesn't matter your classification. You can be a freshman or you can be a senior. But um, you can come in and sign up for academic tutoring for the areas that you're struggling with. I'm Gladys Clay, and I'm the director of the FAME program here at uh, EWC. The FAME program is a tutorial program for those students who have problems in reading and math, arithmetic, and many other things else. An instructor may send me. An instructor may refer a student to, to the tutoring lab uh, because that student may have a problem in that particular subject. And when that student comes to me, then I will assign a peer tutor uh, to that student to tutor that student as best we can to help him succeed in, in that particular class. My tutors are, are students who have been recommended by uh, they're, they're instructors, they must have a 3.0 or better. In fact, I have two or three students, one with a 3.8 and valedictorian, which has a 4.0, is uh, my math tutor, my English tutor, you name it, she's all uh, around. And these tutors are multi multi-task students. I can ask them to do anything and they can do it, but they have to be recommended first by their instructors. And the instructors will assure me that they not only know the subject matter, but they can also relate to other students, which, which is very necessary in this particular job because of the population that we are dealing with. And so far, the, the students have gotten very good reviews from those uh, students that they have tutored, and we have seen the result of those students in the classes that they're taking have improved tremendously. The tutoring um, can be in various forms. We, they can do group sessions or they can do individual sessions. It depends on the learning style of the student. We have a math specialist and an English specialist also um, on staff in the FAME program if they need more advanced tutorial services in those areas. Any student that's struggling in a course what's supposed to that's outside of CETA, what's supposed to happen is that the instructor or the student will meet with the FAME director and then the FAME director will talk to that student and counsel that student um, and then set up a tutorial schedule with the student based on whether or not the student wants group sessions or individual sessions. When those freshmen come into, or transfer students come into your classes, within that first week, those students should be sent here if they have not been placed in, the in one of the academic achievement classes. They should be sent here so that they can meet us and see what we're doing. However, we're also going to ask this year that we may come to the classrooms and actually, actually talk to the students and let them know what the services we do have. These letters, incidentally, are letters not because you have received a C or D, it's because you may need tutoring. And we're inviting you to come over for the tutoring, especially uh, for the last two to three weeks so you can prepare yourself for the finals. Keep in touch with us throughout your time here because we are offering your tutorial services. Don't wait to the last minute when you're filling the course to receive help. That's very important. Come here because if we don't tutor in the, in the area that you need, we will either find a tutor for you or find that service for you. The grades do improve drastically. So with academic advising, we advise basically the sophomores and the freshmen. The sophomores are generally transitioned out of our department once they are going into their junior year. The advising is year-round. You come in, you set up an appointment. If they're available at that time, they'll see you as a walk-in. If they're not available, you can set up an appointment and come back. But they will advise year-round. Now, during the registration period, that depends on during the time when the registration period is open or closed. You set up an appointment, meet with your advisor, and they will help you schedule your courses. The course advising that we do in CETL is the general education requirements that all students at EWC will have to take. But if they still want to come back and receive counseling or just advice through our CETL advisors, they are more than welcome to do so. We do advise students to come to us, one, so we can make sure that the students are not taking classes that they shouldn't take that will further their time, the time it will take for them to graduate. Uh, the other thing is they need to have a place where they feel supported. So they need to know that no matter what their struggles are, 
what they're going through, how they're struggling academically, there's a place on campus where they can come and speak to someone and no matter who the person is or what their job title is, we provide excellent customer service in, in CETL. We have found that CETL has become the hub of um, the college and the students particularly enjoy coming here and they particularly take, uh, enjoy taking the courses that we offer in our department. There are classes that are being held in Poly Brooks um, and these classes also fall, fall under the CETL program. You have your Math 104, which is your college algebra, and then you have Math 103, which is your fundamental of, fun, foundations of math. Um, we also do reading, which is your college reading course, and then your English composition course. But students will have to, they're selected to, to, to attend these courses. Not every student take the courses in CETL. The students who actually take the classes are, in most cases, they're freshmen, and they're placed in those classes based on a certain criteria that we have. We also have a writing specialist in CETL, and the writing specialist works with students across the campus. He also goes into the classroom and does presentations with APA format for various instructors. Before we even get seen by an employer, they see our resume. They see a part of us that is just written communication. So if our resume is horrible, if our cover letters are terrible, the likelihood of us getting a job is, is decreased. So we have to make sure that we prepare students for the writing that follows them beyond their undergraduate career. When we teach, we have to make sure that our students come to a level of mastery so that they don't need to rely on us, they don't need us, and they're competent individuals who have you know, met the learning outcomes of our syllabus and met the standards of our course and met the standards of our entire institution. You know, these are critical things that we have to do to be a well-rounded institution. I, all I do is ask questions and get them to tell me, well, you know, what do you mean by this? And, and how did you want, what are you trying to say? And, and, you know, let's narrow down our thesis here. You know, and it's just some developmental things that people need. It's generally not critical, but it's, it's up to the student to come see me. The services were scattered across campus. Um, and so what they wanted to do was house academic support services in one location so that the students would not have to go to different locations to receive all of the services that are provided under CETL. The house was donated to the college and they re renovated the house specifically for, this, for academic support services. Make this one of your first stops. You come here, you're going to get what you need. If you're confused about where to go, we have some very good student ambassadors here in the office that will help you navigate the campus. If you're confused about your classes or, sh or you may have started a class and you're struggling in it, um, come and see your advisor. But it's important to make a connection with the individuals in this office because because we're the foundation, we're the start of your academic experience.